Camden. It's a hometown crowd for Mike Rossman. Uh, he's in there with his father and his manager, Jimmy DiPiano, and his trainer, Slim Jim Robinson, who has his back to our camera. And Rossman, as we mentioned, has fought 40 fights. He's won 33, 20 by knockouts. He's lost four, and he has fought three draws. Matty Ross, 13 and one, and half of those Fights have been won by knockouts. So here we go. Round one of a scheduled 10 rounder light heavyweights. Mike Rossman in the blue, Matty Ross in the black. Rossman knocked out Lonnie Bennett at the Spectrum two months ago, right here on Prism. I'll tell you here, Matt Ross looks like a real cutie. We talked to Slim Jim Robinson, the trainer of Rossman, and he says he doesn't really know about Ross. So he doesn't know what kind of fight to expect. But he says you have to respect Ross. He's the New England champion. He's got a 13 and 1 record with seven knockouts. So he must be a decent fighter. My work, my Rossman works the body, gets that left jab in. Rossman controlling the ring right now, isn't he, Jerome? Yes, he is. As a matter of fact, I'd like to see him control it a little more. I'd like to see him step to his left, just his right, rather, just a little bit more when Matt Ross turns the corner. Right hand by Rossman. So notice he's forced to go the other way. Body punches by Rossman. Oh, hold it ahead. Great. Step back. Good test for Ross. Young fighter gets a chance to fight a world contender. Let's see just how ready he is for ranking. If he put on a good show here, he could mean bright things for him in the right. future. He could sneak into the top 10 in the rankings. Well, I understand that's how Yaki Lopez did it. Lopez uh, defeated Rossman. That was Rossman's right, last defeat. He was stopped. Rossman has never been on the canvas, and he has never been cut, but he was stopped by Lopez. One minute left to go in round one. Good body punches by Rossman. If you've seen any of the other fights tonight, now you see real class. 
Yes, this is class at its best. Good punches each. Ross has taken some good punches this round. Just kept counter punching. Yes, he has, Pete. That's not the name of the game. Here's the end of round one. And I would say uh, Rossman has to take that round on the strength of his body punching. But Ross certainly is not afraid. And he thinks he uh, deserves to be in the same ring. Well, I think Ross Rossman. now has to come down off of his toes. He has to more or less establish his plan a little better. Right now, he's making the moves, but he's not taking advantage of them. He's getting out of the way of good right hands. He's stepping away from the ropes at times, but he's not doing it consistently. Slim Jim Robinson says that uh, Rossman has to be careful because uh, Muhammad Ali was beaten by a fighter who only had seven fights. Uh, of course, was uh, Leon Spinks, and uh, Jimmy Young was beaten by a fighter who had just ten fights. So you can't take anyone too lightly. Well, again, every time a man puts on a glove, he poses a threat. Getting ready for round two, scheduled ten rounds. Mike Rossman in the blue, Matty Ross. In the black. Morris is down a little bit from the toes. Michael seems to be content with just following him around, hitting with one shot. He's got to go for the combination shots. That's Ross what it's going to a little take. bit there. He's not really throwing that jab much. He's more content with going to the body punches. Good right hand, stun Ross, knocking back. Right in front of us. Ross took a good right hand there. He was rocked to the ropes, but uh, remained composed. He didn't panic. Well, as I said, he seems to be a cutie, and most cuties can hold their composure pretty good under good pressure. Body punch by Rossman. Rossman snapped the jab that time. Good combination. Right hand in. Rossman up against the ropes. Trying to throw his body punches. Gets that left jab and does Ross. Matty Ross against Mike Rossman. Left hand by Ross. I think Ross is a little too content with just fighting, trading punch for punch with Rossman. What he has to do is more or less box, stay in the center of the ring, use the jab, work off of the jab, because Rossman does have a lot of trouble with boxers. Ross uh, is keeping his left a little low at times. Yeah, and he's not using it at all at times. Good right by Ross, but Rossman came back with a counter punch with a right hand of his own. That's what makes him worthy of a shot at Victor Galindez. Now Rossman uses the left jab. Another left jab. <laughs> Referee Marty Perez breaks him. Rossman is really concentrating on his opponent. There it is. He's out. He's down. He's not going to get up. He hit his head hard on the canvas, too. The That's it. That's it, and Ross might be hurt. He's hurt. Ross is still on the ground. They're still working on Ross. Knockout coming in the second round. It 
Second round knockout. Right hand by Mike Rossman. And let's like take another look at it. There it comes. Setting them up now as Ross bounces left. Look at that right. Boy, does he go down. And then he hits his head. And Ross is just coming to his feet now. He is very, very groggy. He was out, out cold. He was just uh, put on a stool now. And he's still very groggy. So Mike Rossman scores a second round knockout. And Victor Galendez will be seeing Mike Rossman come September in New Orleans in a battle for the light heavyweight crown, the WBA version. That will be at New Orleans.